Green Jade were doing a performance in Birmingham um, on New Year's Eve, and it was the same night that Letitia Shakespeare and Charlene Ellis were shot, just a couple of miles up the road. And on the way home, sort of driving back from Birmingham, we kind of thought, you know, we need to have some sort of response for all this stuff that's going on. So put your peace signs up, ladies, eh? Wiz came up to me with this idea of actually taking a show around schools because I knew that XLP was working in schools and stuff like that. And that was just after I came back from Trenchtown and just experienced a whole load of craziness. And, and I just thought, actually, if we don't do something, this whole thing could spiral out of control. The idea is we're going to go into the school's hour-long show, music, videos, uh, competitions, interaction with the kids. Just basically looking around the issues of both making choices and about guns and knives, which are a big problem with um, young people at the moment. And a lot of people just don't really know what to do. And really, unless you've been presented with a choice, a lot of people don't know that they have a choice. You know, we're told three reasons why people carry weapons. Uh, criminal activity, uh, fashion accessory, status symbol, and because uh, they're scared of being attacked. What we're trying to do is create the whole thing, you know, that there is a choice. There is a choice. That wrong choices lead to more wrong choices. I want to offer you three bits of advice to do with choices. And the first one is this. Don't rush. Don't rush. Take a step back, OK? Don't think you have to go for it immediately. Secondly, is don't be pushed. You know, I've come to a point where I will not let anyone push me into doing anything I don't want to do anymore. I'm not going to let anyone shove me around, tell me what to do. I'm going to think it through and make my own choices. And the third one is be sussed. In other words, suss out the consequences to your actions. And so we're looking at guns, but it could easily be knives, it could easily just be, you know, punch-ups in the playground. It's just how you make your choices. And so the show, hopefully, has got a real broad appeal. What are you saying? You are Cool, man. Good things, good things, good things. I'm right, you know. Hey, by the way, do you get me? Do you remember that money you owe me? Have you got it for me? Who does he think he's talking to? We do a role play where we look into the choices that two guys, someone who owes someone money, um, the kind of thought processes that go on in their head um, to get the money back. Maybe I should tell him I will give him the money next time I see him, so you know what I mean? So we just spread the peace. He will know, blood. Reggie, it's still though, innit? I hear you, you get me, like, if it's for your mum, you get me. I'll just borrow some money from my mum, you get me, and I'll give it to you. <laughs> cool, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. You know we're from day, though, innit? For real, man, for real, for you real. Mean? If we can get the kids to just stop and think, maybe they won't end up going down the roads that they could go down. Yeah, it's real hard at times to keep my focus, though I know my cause. Some of these heads, they, they try to close my doors, even they show in their claws. Hold the sign, they didn't realize that only bros been going for time, even been flowing for time. You asked the DJ, he met me up with a cypher up in North, rolling with Green J. That's how my team played way back when. Turn these songs up, wait, Crip, say it again, say it again, I'm just revisiting. Cause I remember Craziness, right? The first show, um, uh, head to teacher gets up at the end and says that um, he used to be a, a youth worker, he used to run a youth club. One night, a boy came and outside the youth club out in the street, he was carrying a knife. He took the knife out and he gave it to one of his friends. And the friend held it up to his neck as a joke. And then someone pushed from behind, um, knife went straight through his neck and uh, killed him like that. And actually, there are so many crazy stories like that, you know, or just total waste of life. People um, getting stabbed, people getting shot over nothing. And uh, part of this is saying, you know, actually, you can handle those situations. There is another way, there is another way to go about this stuff. Well, you can um, log on to the website, www.gunsdown.com. That's guns with a Z. There'll be quite a few opportunities to get involved with, with everything that's going on. But the message is, book this show for your school, because yeah. uh, it's a great show, and uh, the kids will love it, and um, yeah, and it will help unpack the whole issue. So if you want to book this show, get in touch with us at XLP, it'll be wicked. Peace. 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 Peace.